ladies and welcome to another video. This one I'm so excited to film because I honestly think that I got so lucky recently with some of the latest acquisitions and findings and I don't know where exactly I'm gonna put this video which seems to be a big problem with me lately I don't know in which video I'm gonna include it whether or not I'm gonna do a separate which I believe I will you probably have already seen or not the unboxing of the Hermes bag that you bought me you know I don't know if I've still published it or not so if I have disregard this if I haven't you will watch it in the next video probably after my Montenegro vlog I'm traveling tomorrow for my best friend's birthday and after that I'm heading to Montenegro for another little holiday that I feel like came a little bit spontaneously um, unexpected and I'm very happy for it because I just want to do Zen stuff for four days I guess I will be vlogging it because I want to show it to you I've heard it's one of the most beautiful places in this part of the world and I want to bring you with me, at the same time I want to rest, but I think because I'm going with my closest people, I will manage to do both. But in today's video, guys, it's a bag, and we're gonna unbox it, and then a piece of jewelry, and we're gonna unbox it, and a piece of jewelry, which we're gonna unbox, because I cannot, I cannot, you know, hide it anymore and keep waiting, but what I'm most excited about is this because I have not seen this before and I'm gonna tell you the story why. So I've been wanting this for, let's say six months, but probably more, because I really, really wanted it and it's so hard to get. All of you who have been trying, you know what I'm talking about, but after everything happened, for some reason, I got myself this crazy will that... I just wanted to get some of the pieces that have been on my wish list for a very long time but I never seemed to tick them off because I kept postponing them and postponing them and thinking okay it will happen next time it will there the life is there's time it will happen and I kind of have to say that is definitely the case for this piece which I've been wanting for so long I just never really kind of got around to doing it I don't know which piece to open first, but since these come with a bit of a story, maybe I'll, I'll unbox this one first because I just bought it today. So it was something I've been wanting, it's not been on my wish list, but I have actually, yeah, today we passed the shop and I was in a bit of a, in a, bit of a mood. So at one point I was like, okay, let's enter Moncleaf. We already threw the bag away, right? So there's no shopping bag to show you, but I arrived with a beautiful little booklet no and the travel pouch but this is what you will see like we kind of had so many shopping bags in my room i will insert a picture here that we had to yeah organize things <laughs> anyway so past five on cleave and i decided to ask for two or three different things that i wanted one was a pair of earrings the particular ones i wanted they didn't have in stock and the other piece was a ring that i tried on and didn't like Probably not on my hands, like, I mean, it didn't really look, it didn't look good, right? It looked like a bit old. Too much on your face, I would say. Yeah? Mm, like, too, too bold too and flashy. flashy. Yeah. yeah, I thought the same. And even though I was thinking, okay, there are a few pieces from Van Cleef that I really like and I want, I do feel like it's a little bit oversaturated online. I was talking to Lely about this recently and she was saying, she sees it a lot too, and I agreed, but then this I really wanted to get, and when I saw it, I was like, yes. So, this is something I've been wanting for a very, well, very long time, but long enough, uh, because obviously I wanted it to match my Malachite bracelet. When did I get the Malachite bracelet? Just after the restaurants opened in Two Paris. months ago. More. In Paris. I wanted to, it seems like I wanted this forever, but maybe because, remember the story about the Malachite bracelet? I got myself the Malachite bracelet for my birthday in 2020 and because of COVID it never actually arrived and then I kind of like you know couldn't get it blah 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 I got in Selfridges, Selfridges closed, it was a whole drama and then I got it a year later so now I got a matching necklace and I really like the pop of color I really like green I wish I could show you what I've got on my feet my Bottega green slippers which I love very much and I think color green is a porta fortuna it brings good luck in um i believe in chinese culture also red and green they bring good luck so 
I like it. I like symbolics behind things and I believe that Malachite brings pros prosperity and wealth. Okay, so here it is, perfectly matching my elephant necklace. I will come closer for you to see. Maybe I'll shorten it a little bit more so that then I wear it like this. And I love this pop of color for summer and I wanted to wear it right away. And you guys know that very often I like to show you pieces first before, um, on, like on YouTube, before I wear them on my Instagram. Um, just so that, I don't know, like I, I like to do that. I want to wear it right away and in order to do that I wanted to show it to you first. So now I can wear it and um, if you don't follow my Instagram, I suggest you check it out because there I style all the things together. I often show you my daily outfits, my travels, my stories and things like that. So now I will proceed to this because I cannot wait to see this item. I mean, for me, this is like the biggest unboxing I've done ever, ever, ever. And probably at the end of the unboxing, you will understand why. But I'm, first of all, for sure, I've never done a more expensive unboxing than what I've got here. Which doesn't really matter because the, the, it's not, it's so vulgar to talk about money, if you ask me. And I don't like, that's not the point of this. But the point is that for me, this is the most exciting unboxing because there are like three items that I've really wanted for a while. So it's really special. So here we have, oh my god, I never realized that Hermes has the year next to Hermes on the ribbon. Mm -hmm. It says 2021. Did you open this? No. Nope. Because it was not tied like this. No. Nope. Are you sure? I wasn't there. And if I was there, I okay, was Okay, tell there. them the story. <laughs> tell them the story. Because this is not how it came, wrapped from Hermes, then, I'm sure. Uh, someone uh, did it, but I wasn't there. And I, if I was there, I was sleeping. The story Why is the that I opened like it this? because I wanted to see if there, there there was a bag inside, you know? Because you know, you go to Hermes, they give you the box. Wait, wait. So and you, you, went don't, to you Hermes, never know if there's a bag asked, inside. You asked for this item, they they showed it to you. Yeah. They wrapped it, and when you got home, you opened it. Yeah, because I, I wanted to be sure. And is it inside? Yes. And let me just say that he told me, okay, so I got it and I just need to open it to make sure the bag is inside. And I said, no, like, don't do that. I want to do an unboxing. And he said, no, because I need to make sure that the bag is, bag is inside. Because if I travel from Paris and the bag is not in there, you're not going to be happy. But can I say something? Yeah. There is something very, very exclusive about this unboxing that your uh, audience should know. What? For the first time ever, you opening a box that you you never saw yeah. the what is inside and That's this is true. the first time because usually you unbox but what things. about the one that you got me yes yeah but, also yeah, yes but you knew uh you saw that bag somewhere else live true this color is the first time you see it live true so i th i mean your face when you will see this bag will be like uh what if i don't like it well i don't think so <laughs> but this color, you never saw it live. Yes. Never. Well, I'm very, very excited to open it. Even though he said to me, I'm going to close it exactly how it was closed, right? Yeah. I'm going to close it exactly the same way it was. Guys, do you think this is how they close it? <laughs> uh, that bag also came to Ibiza and back in the luggage. Because <laughs> I was going to unbox it in Ibiza and it Anyway, we have clearly a lot of fun together. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to unbox it now. Do it in a hard way. What do you mean? Exactly. Sometimes hardest is smarter. Yes, I don't, yeah. know, I don't know where that, never heard of that expression. Well, it's a new, new one. New expression. I'm so excited. Yep. Very excited. Wait to see it. Like, so this is going to be the first time that you and I see it. So we have this thing that I don't really know what it is for. You know what is inside, you don't know the color. No. Can you guess the bag? Can you guess the bag? Should I pick? And the color is? Or should I show it to you guys before I see it? Should I do that? Yes, but then you need to... <gasps> I love it. Oh my god. Guys. It's perfect. And it matches my new necklace. I mean, okay, okay. The truth be told, I knew the color. I just never saw it in real life. And I think in real life, it's even more beautiful than what I thought. The story behind this is that I've been wanting a colorful mini Kelly for the summer months since 
since the last year. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Since the last year, when you and bought the black one, you wanted already uh, a colorful color. one. And I really, really know how hard it is to get a mini Kelly. It's a nightmare, no? Every time we're in a mess where we have a great relationship like you have, I have, we say, okay, a mini Kelly, they're like, just ask for anything else, you know? Mini Kelly really is the hard one to get. And this is my second one that I have. And I'm so happy because I wanted a green color, but I didn't want it to be cactus, which is the Kelly 28 that I had that got stolen because I'm trying not to repeat the things that I had, though I do think it will be hard. But this is so beautiful. I specifically wanted the Epsom leather because when I wear mini Kelly's, it's usually for the nights out, right? And they tend to get scratched. As you probably know, mini Kelly does not come with a clochette with a little padlock thingy. You just get the strap and the bag. And I think this bag is so gorgeous. So I'm very, very excited for this bag and I cannot wait to wear it on my holidays, which are fast approaching. The gold hardware is something that I also wanted because um, I, I, most of my jewelry is gold. And when I show you what's in the Cartier box, some of you though already guessed and saw it because it was, if you have a very good eye, <laughs> it's hard to miss. This is the new bag. I think it's so beautiful. I cannot wait to wear it. Cannot wait. So let me know what you think. So what is the color of this bag called? Yes. Well, I wouldn't know because I, it all happened like this, as you guys could have seen. I will pop down in the description box what is the exact color of the bag called. I love it. Green, obs green obsession seems to be going strong. And this bag also will replace my little mini Jody. You know the little green bag that I had from Bottega. So we have. Mini Kelly. And actually, now looking at the camera, the color is not exactly the same on the camera and in real life because in the camera it looks more like bluish green. Look here, down below, where the light is not hitting so strong. You know? So, yeah, I love it. It's very similar to the green that I had before, but a bit more muted, maybe. I love it. It's so stunning. I'm so happy with this. Last but not the least is probably the most special piece in my jewelry collection. And it's over here. It's something that I've wanted for a very, very long time. For as long as I can remember. It was just always, it seemed a little bit, I don't know, I always somehow dodged it. It has also a beautiful story behind it that I was just discussing right now um, with my boyfriend. We were saying, you know, that for some people, material things just mean like very monetary value, but for me, I usually tend to buy myself a beautiful piece at every like success, at every big contract. Every time something important would happen in my life that I would go through something, I would get something or I would get something gifted from my family and from my friends and from my loved ones as a reminder. After a rain, there comes the sun or that I'm strong enough or that I did something well. So it's kind of like a reminder usually. In here, we have, I mean, you could probably already have guessed that here we have the Cartier box. -da -da -da. And inside of this beautiful box is, are you ready? Ah, è vuota? Sì. Ma come è vuota? You didn't put it. No, I didn't put it because when I got this precious piece, they wanted to wrap it for me in the box, but I was in town and I said, you know what? No, please put it on my arm right away because I felt so vulnerable carrying it in my hand that I told like, okay, if they snatch it out of my hand now, I think I will be traumatized. So the reveal is coming now. I got the Cartier Pave love bracelet that you can see here. It's something that I, like I said, I've been wanting for a while now and I feel like now my arm candy is quite complete. Over here I've got the Cartier love Pave. I've got the Chaume, um Be My Love bracelet that I also have actually in white gold. Um, I now have the Malachite One Cleave bracelet. I have this beautiful Reposi bracelet. Let me show you the face of it. 
And then we also have a Justin Clou, which is a, like a simple Justin Clou. Now, um, I also have the love bracelet, which is the simple gold one that I will add on this stack. But I removed all of my jewelry when I was swimming the other day. I was swimming like with nothing, not my watch, not my jewelry, because also I was sunbathing. And at one point I realized that I have a bit of a, look at this, I have a difference in tan. Yeah. Because I was swimming, I was on sea bob actually, and then because you hold your hands above the sea level, you tan so fast. So I realized, okay, this is not smart, and I took all my jewelry off. But then I put it back on, and um, I just cannot stop admiring this new bracelet. I really love it. Mine is my love. My love bracelet is in size 17, so I wanted it to match so that they perfectly stack. Because I also had a white gold Cartier love bracelet, which was in the lot that was stolen. That one was in size 16 and I actually regretted getting size 16. I thought it was size 16, but actually I'm size 17. It was the wrong size for me. So it was a purchase from the airport. I got it at the airport. I was rushing. I didn't have time to check. And then when I put them both together, I realized they're not stacking perfectly. I was so annoyed. So, but now it got stolen anyway. So what's important is that I am rebuilding my collection more dense, smaller, but more strong and with pieces that I've been wanting for a long time that I'm so excited to have and that truly make me really excited. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. It's my biggest unboxing that I've ever done personally for me because it's full of the biggest achievements and probably the biggest and the most expensive thing that I ever had was my gold uh, Patek Philippe watch. Uh, but that watch unfortunately is not with me anymore however I've never done the unboxing for it because I thought that that was such an expensive piece that I wasn't sure if I remember we were talking about this I wasn't sure if I wanted to do an unboxing of but now I decided that you know what chin up going straight and I'm so happy that I'm able to share these beautiful pieces with you guys let me know which piece of these three was your favorite what you think about them and I cannot wait to see you in my next video Bye, guys.